Carlos's question, because I know Matthew did a plus one on that. Uh, could you recommend a method technique to migrate? Oh, I know why he, he plus one this. Uh, migrate a PBIX data model import to Azure Analysis Services. Hmm. So the the challenge, right? I can get the I can get the P, I can get the the schema of that PBIX file using Tablet Editor. I think can totally get the schema of it. The challenge is when I deploy it is the connection, right? It's going to be the connection strings. I tried this. I actually tried this. Let's write that down. I actually tried this the other day working with someone and we ran into the main thing we ran into when we we opened Tablet Editor and we uh, we you, we open external tools and t that gave us the schema, but the connection inf information wasn't quite there. Look, Alex posted something in the in the, uh, a chat, and so maybe we should go yep. read that article and then do a video on. It. <laughs> but that was the challenge. So uh, can't you use it? There you go. So yep. the challenge is connection strings. So once I get that part figured out, then they will. Uh, that is on the list. That is on the board as a video. It's just I couldn't get the connection string figured out. Yeah. So so from an AS perspective, there's no uh, there used to be. So when I don't know if you remember the Azure Analysis Services yes. web yeah. editor thing, there I was do. an actual I grow do. up from a PBIX yeah. to Azure AS, yeah. and then that was taken away. Um, yeah. So because part of the struggle is some of the some of the architecture, like the actual definitions of items, was different at the time. So the new enhanced metadata schema now is more in line with what Azure AS accepts from the connection information perspective. So like all the Power Query stuff. Um, so, so, and so Alex, Alex made a interesting comment as well. Yes. Of, you know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. why, where'd it go? Yeah. Uh, I would ask why Azure AS and there, I mean, there are probably some valid reasons for that. There are, there are a few cases where I would say, yes, Azure AS is probably the way to go. And I know Patrick, we, even the last week or two, we've had some conversations where it's like, yes. look, I, I mean, you're going to have to go Azure AS for that. Um, and some and of that's just because of the size. Around, it's specifically around the size of the model yep. and somebody saying object level security, but stay tuned on object level security. Yep. But the size of the model is, one of the main we reasons reasons I was going to say reasons one of the main one of the main reasons that I mean we've got to go AS I even have one customer that has to go SSAS and a VM because their models are so big yeah. so big so big yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. size size matters yeah. size does matter yeah. yeah so Thomas Thomas made a comment Azure AS is not on the future roadmap um I would look there the way I look at it is from an engine perspective and a DAX perspective there are updates happening um some of those items are, do trickle down to Azure AS uh, I mean look at calculation groups that yep. that's there um so mm. actually that was there in Azure AS before it was there in Power BI yep. so you know what's nice about Azure AS though you got the query scale out also right the yes QL, query scale right? out is there um, um you have the larger SKUs. Yeah. um yep. so yep. so may maybe 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 there will be i don't know some things that happen at ignite i don't that's actually not a like i i don't know about that particular oh, wait let me tweet standpoint. that adam said adam said <laughs> no. they're making let me... <laughs> no 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 i'm just I don't, overheard I don't know. overheard overheard <sighs> <laughs> hush it hush it uh yeah so and then so alex also brought up a blog post also that this was a blog post that richard did um just talking about yeah. uh premium versus azure as uh, that blog post is still valid um and so yep. the vision for a, a long time has been power bi will be that superset of azure analysis services right and so so some things may come premium only um on the on the power bi side uh so uh, and then there's also lots of discussions too, of like there's folks that have deployed to Azure AS and that was a decision they made, you know, at the, at a point in time where premium was not a valid solution for that type of enterprise model. And, you know, if they're already there, then, you know, migrating that over to Power BI is maybe, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it kind of mentality. I don't know. Yeah. Or maybe there's still Michael reasons why sense. premium isn't there. Michael, Micah asks a really good question. Does Azure AS have model eviction? Matthew already answered it, but yep. it yep. doesn't. It does right? not. It doesn't. It just that's, that's stays a in memory. Thing. 
Yep. Yeah. That's well, but I, I would also argue that from an Azure AS perspective, typically you have that central model and you, you always right. want it available, right? It's not like Power BI right. where you got a bunch of these little models going in and out. So, so it's yep. a different, it's yep. a different scenario.